What do you think about the two meatballs conference all in all? Yeah, I think uh, the pitch format is actually a really, really great, great format just to keep the conversation going and make sure people are being energized and concise in all of their answers and really like target their message and focus it down on what they'd actually recommend. Yeah, we see actually a lot of differences how it's good to go with that and who isn't. Um, and so like, um, what do you think like the private sector can, can teach uh, that it's okay? <laughs> oh no, that's good luck, yes, yes. I can teach to, to, to city or government perspective or even uh, the financiers. So yeah, on, on this sector, perspective, on the presenting. On the presenting, okay. Um, I think that the important thing is to think about uh, what your audience wants to know about, certainly. Um, but I think from the private sector perspective, I think the reason people are so interested in what I have to say at this moment is that Bird is moving really fast uh, and we have a lot of interest interesting data points, so a lot of these ongoing questions about how transportation systems work or what maybe needs to change, we're very quickly like leaning into it and collecting information and analyzing information and bringing some new kind of insights to the discussion in a very rapid pace. I think you do the same thing also in the cities themselves, so can you talk a little bit about your experience in, the, in, in implementing your system in the cities? Yeah, yeah, so uh, it's pretty remarkable to see how quick the uptake of electric scooters has been. Um, I I think in 2018, by some estimates, in an industry that was brand new, there were over 50 million rides on a, on a, a mechanism that was brand new to people. People had never even seen an e-scooter before. And just seeing the interest in the mode and the uptake is really inspiring, particularly from a decarbonizing city's perspective. And when we especially think about emerging and developing countries, where is BIRD's um, potentials in those countries? Um, I think that in some ways a lot of those countries may have an opportunity to leapfrog uh, the mistakes of past countries. Uh, we've invested far too long in the car experiment and it has proven completely unsuccessful. Cities that have only prioritized vehicle infrastructure are polluted and they're congested and they're contributing to climate change and mobility actually like the ability to get where you want to go has really really suffered. Um, so for uh, low and middle income countries that are just now designing a lot of these infrastructure uh, they should make the choice to make investments in shared micromobility lanes and in public transit and give a little sliver of space over to private vehicles if there is sliver of space, but really prioritize through their infrastructure choices uh, these supportive and shared modes. And when we think about electric mobility all in all and make it uh, in a sustainable way or develop it in a sustainable way, what would you, would you say is the, the, the biggest challenge we need to focus on? I think uh, the point that's been brought up a lot here is where is the power actually coming from? And if we're switching um, to just giving private cars electric, we're electrifying private vehicles, we're still going to have a lot of the problem with the fact that that mode is a very inefficient mode. We have a 3,000 pound uh, vehicle that is being used to move a 200 pound person. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. And so thinking about the efficiencies that can be gained by using a human size mode like a scooter, which only weighs about 40 pounds, and so its efficiency just in terms of translating that electric power into movement of people is makes so much more sense uh, in the world that we're living in and with the carbon goals that we have.